multiply 3x minus 2 all to the third power. Now there are a couple different ways you can do this problem. One way is you can just expand like this. 3x minus 2. So what this says is 3x minus 2 all to the third power is the same thing as 3x minus 2 multiplied by itself three times. So you can write it this way and then use the FOIL method and go ahead and multiply it out. There's another way called the binomial expansion and that's related to the Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle goes like this. 1, 2, 1, and then 1, 3, 3, 1. And all you do to create a row is you start with a 1 and then 1, 1, and then you put a 1 on the outside and then add the two numbers above to get the middle numbers. So that's where I got the 2 and that's where I got the 3, 3, because 1 plus 2 and 2 plus 1. Okay, now this is like the 0 row, this is the 1, the 2, and then the 3. This is the coefficients for the binomial expansion. And the way this works is it's going to be 1 times 3x to the third, and then plus 3 times 3x squared times negative 2, and then plus 3 times 3x times negative 2 squared, then plus 1, which is the coefficient here, times negative 2 to the third. And there's also a pattern in the notes that you can use to memorize if you like to memorize things. I like this Pascal's triangle way because it's, I don't know, it's kind of fun to make the triangle and it helps you get accurate results. And notice what happened with the terms here. As I started off with the first term to the third power, and then the second power, then the first power, then the zero power. And then with the second term, I started with a zero power, then the one power for the negative two, and then the second power for the negative two squared, third power for the negative two to the third. So you start with the first term, the powers count down from left to right, and with the second term, the powers count up from left to right. So let me go ahead and simplify this now. 1 times 3x to the third, the, th the power of 3 applies to everything in here. So it's going to be 27x to the third. And then it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be 3 times 3 squared, which is going to be 3 times 9, 27, and then times negative 2. I'm just going to write it as plus 27 times negative 2, and then x squared. And then over to the next terms, it's going to be plus 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 9 times negative 2 squared is 4, so 36x. Then minus 8, because negative 2 to the third is negative 8. So let me simplify one more step. 27x to the third. And then 27 times negative 2 is negative 54. So negative 54x squared plus 36x minus 8. And there is your answer. And if you multiplied and did an expansion, 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2, and multiply that result by 3x minus 2, you would get this exact same answer. It's just a different way to do the problem.